Good morning, Dave here. Just thought I'd share with you. I've got a telephone interview today at 11 a.m. Telephone interview, so I thought I'd just put on a t-shirt with a collar just to look a little bit smarter, just in case it's an actual Zoom call. I doubt it is, but just in case. My wife said to me, why don't you actually consider putting on a proper work shirt? But I really think that's overkill when I know it's a telephone interview. We're all going through this lockdown process. Is it really necessary to dress up? I don't think so. It's a bit false. Okay, so just look smart, just in case. And I'll, I can't flip my phone around, so I'll just show you anyway what I normally do for interviews. So if you can see there, I've got my laptop. I've also got some notes printed out on the subject that I think um, that we're going to be talking about today. Um, I've also got a water bottle there, just in case I need uh, to hydrate myself while I've got the interview. I've got my headphones there, in case I decide to actually take the call on headphones. I may do, sometimes the sound, you know, I, I, sometimes I don't like that sort of earphone sound when I'm on a telephone interview, so sometimes I'll just have the phone in my hand. Um, also, what I've got printed off there is I've got my CV, which has um, got some of my key points highlighted on my, on my CV. For example, it will say that I was the monitoring platform owner, for example, at the Stock Exchange. I was the product owner for monitoring at Fidelity Investments. Some of those key sort of buzzwords, bullet points there. So I've got a copy of my CV there. I've also got a copy of the one page job spec, so not much to go on there. And I've written on there who the client is, what the basic role sounds like it is after speaking to the agency. And I've also written down the person's name who's gonna interview me. And of course, on the computer, I have also got the dial-in details of the person that I'm gonna be calling. Of course, their name is there as well. And I've also got my CV on my computer as well. So I've got printed off copy and I've got the soft copy online as well, because um, if I want to talk through, if I'm asked to talk through my CV, for example, I can, if the situation is okay to do that, then I can scroll through the online version. Otherwise, I can go to the paper version. But one thing I don't want to do is have lots of rustling paper sounds when I'm on a telephone interview. So that's why I've got both there, just in case. Um, anything else? Oh, the other thing is I've got my desk here. And if you notice, this desk is up at about, you know, four and a half feet high. So this is just a Ikea desk, I think it is. But one thing I'm really glad I did, I invested the extra bit of money to get one that is height adjustable because that's really good. If you see there, it's got the up down arrows there. And it means that, um, I mean, we all probably know that it's good for our health not to be sitting for sort of six, seven, eight hours at a time. It's good to take regular breaks, but it's also good to be standing when you're doing some work. So if you've been sitting for a long time and you've got a pressing deadline or something you've got to do, then it's good idea to raise the desk up and do some work while you're standing up. Obviously, if you can go out and take a break as well, that's obviously beneficial too. And for this interview, I'm gonna do it standing up because I quite like the freedom of being stood up and it means I can sort of move around, I can move my hands and <laughs> even though they can't see that, that's the whole point. They can't see what I'm doing, if we're not on Zoom that is, and I can just, gesticulate as much as I want. I can pace around the room if I want to, and as long as I don't create too much noise. And I've got the freedom to do that. So desk, water, laptop with CV on it, printed off CV, printed off job spec, uh, the numbers I need to call, the person who I'm talking to, headphones, and I've got a few technical notes there. Not that I've created specifically for this interview, it's just some um, training notes when I did a training course on a certain topic. So I've just printed off those topics just as a reminder of what they are in case they ask about it. Okay, I hope that's useful to you. I will let you know how the interview goes. 11 o'clock today, wish me luck. Whatever will be, will be. That is the key thing. I'm not gonna be attached to the result 
of getting this piece of work. If it's right for me, it's right for me. If the client likes me, I have no control over that. All I can control are my thoughts and my actions. So I'm gonna go into this as positive as I usually do. And you know, it's a beautiful day out there. I'm gonna go out and get some exercise later. And I'm gonna have a fantastic day no matter what happens. If this role is right for me, then it'll happen. If it's not, it won't, okay? All the best, speak soon, bye.